In mathematics and theoretical physics, the term quantum group denotes various kinds of noncommutative algebras with additional structure. In general, a quantum group is some kind of Hopf algebra. There is no single, all-encompassing definition, but instead a family of broadly similar objects, the term quantum group first appeared in the theory of quantum integrable systems, which was then formalized by Vladimir Drinfeld and Michio Jimbo as a particular class of Hopf algebra. The same term is also used for other Hopf algebras that deform or are close to classical Lie groups or Lie algebras, such as a backquote bicrossproduct class of quantum groups introduced by Sean Majid a little after the work of Drinfeld and Jimbo. In Drinfeld's approach, quantum groups arise as Hopf algebras depending on an auxiliary parameter q or h, which become universal enveloping algebras of a certain Lie algebra, frequently semisimple or affine, when q. Topic <laughs> one or h zero. Closely related are certain dual objects, also Hopf algebras and also called quantum groups, deforming the algebra of functions on the corresponding semisimple algebraic group or a compact Lie group. Just as groups often appear as symmetries, quantum groups act on many other mathematical objects. It has become fashionable to introduce the adjective quantum in cases where quantum groups act on objects. For example, there are quantum planes and quantum Grassmannians. Intuitive meaning The discovery of quantum groups was quite unexpected since it was known for a long time that compact groups and semisimple Lie algebras are «rigid» objects, in other words, they cannot be «deformed». One of the ideas behind quantum groups is that if we consider a structure that is in a sense equivalent but larger, namely a group algebra or a universal enveloping algebra, then a group or enveloping algebra can be deformed, although the deformation will no longer remain a group or enveloping algebra. More precisely, deformation can be accomplished within the category of Hopf algebras that are not required to be either commutative or co-commutative. One can think of the deformed object as an algebra of functions on a Noncommutative space, in the spirit of the noncommutative geometry of Alain Connus. This intuition, however, came after particular classes of quantum groups had already proved their usefulness in the study of the quantum Young Baxter equation and quantum inverse scattering method developed by the Leningrad School Ludwig Fadiv, Leon Toktahin, Yevgeny Sklyanin, Nikolai Reshetihin, and Vladimir Koropin, and related work by the Japanese school. The intuition behind the second, bicrossproduct, class of quantum groups was different and came from the search for self-dual objects as an approach to quantum gravity. <laughs> Drinfeld-Jimbo type quantum groups One type of objects commonly called a quantum group appeared in the work of Vladimir Drinfeld and Michio Jimbo as a deformation of the universal enveloping algebra of a semisimple Lie algebra or, more generally, a KAC Moody algebra, in the category of Hopf algebras. The resulting algebra has additional structure, making it into a quasi-triangular Hopf algebra. Let A equals A I J be the Cartan matrix of the KAC Moody algebra, and let Q does not equal zero, one be a complex number, then the quantum group, U Q G, where G is the Lie algebra whose Cartan matrix is A, is defined as the unital associative algebra with generators K lambda, where lambda is an element of the weight lattice, i.e. 2 lambda, alpha i, alpha i, alpha i is an integer for all i, and A and phi for simple roots, alpha i, subject to the following relations. K zero equals one K lambda K mu equals K lambda plus mu K lambda e i K lambda minus one equals Q lambda alpha I E I K lambda F I K lambda minus one equals 
q minus lambda alpha i f i e i f j equals delta i j k i minus k i minus 1 q i Minus q i minus one k i equals k alpha i q i equals q one two alpha i alpha i display style begin aligned k underscore zero and equals one k underscore lambda k underscore mu and equals k underscore lambda plus mu k underscore lambda e underscore i k underscore lambda carrot minus one and equals q carrot lambda alpha underscore i e underscore i k underscore lambda f underscore i k underscore lambda carrot Minus one and equals q caret lambda alpha underscore i f underscore i left e underscore i f underscore j right and equals delta underscore i j frac k underscore i k underscore i caret minus one q underscore i q underscore i caret minus one and then k underscore i equals k underscore alpha underscore i q underscore i equals q caret frac one two alpha underscore i alpha underscore i end aligned and for I does not equal j we have the q ser relations which are deformations of the ser relations n equals 0 1 minus a i j minus 1 n 1 minus a i j q i 1 minus a i j minus n q i n q i e i n e j e i 1 minus a i j minus n equals 0 n equals 0 1 minus a i j minus 1 n 1 minus a i J Q I one minus A I J minus N Q I N Q I F I N F J F I one minus a i j minus n equals zero Display style begin aligned sum underscore n equals zero carrot one a underscore i j minus one carrot n f r a c one a underscore i j underscore q underscore i one a underscore i j n underscore q underscore i n underscore q underscore i E underscore I carrot N E underscore J E underscore I carrot one A underscore I J N and equals zero six P T sum underscore N equals zero carrot one A underscore I J minus one carrot N F R A C one A underscore I J underscore Q underscore I one A underscore I J N underscore Q underscore I N underscore Q underscore I F underscore I carrot N F underscore J F underscore I carrot one A a underscore i j n and equals zero end aligned where the q factorial, the q analog of the ordinary factorial, is defined recursively using q number zero q i equals one n q i equals m equals one n m q i m q i equals 
QIM minus QI minus M QI minus QI minus one display style begin aligned zero underscore Q underscore I and equals one N underscore Q underscore I and equals prod underscore M equals one carrot N M underscore Q underscore I and an M underscore Q underscore I equals FRAC Q underscore I carrot M Q underscore I carrot M Q underscore I Q underscore I carrot minus one end aligned in the limit as Q one these Relations approach the relations for the universal enveloping algebra U G, where k lambda one k lambda minus k minus lambda q minus q minus one t lambda display style k underscore lambda to one q quad frac k underscore lambda k underscore lambda q q caret minus one to t underscore lambda and t lambda is the element of the Cartan subalgebra satisfying t lambda h equals lambda h for all h in the Cartan subalgebra. There are various coassociative coproducts under which these algebras are Hopf algebras. For example, delta one k lambda equals k lambda k lambda delta one e i equals one e i plus e i k i delta 1 f i equals k i minus 1 f i plus f i 1 delta 2 K lambda equals K lambda K lambda delta two E I equals K I minus one E I plus E I one Delta two F I equals one F I plus F I K I Delta three K Lambda equals K Lambda K Lambda Delta three E I equals K I minus one two E I plus E I K I one two Delta three F I Equals k i minus one two f i plus f i k i one two display style begin array l l l delta underscore one k underscore lambda equals k underscore lambda o times k underscore lambda and delta underscore one e underscore i equals one o times e underscore i plus e underscore i o times k underscore i and delta underscore one f underscore i equals k underscore i caret minus one o times f underscore i plus f underscore i o times one delta to underscore two k underscore lambda equals k underscore lambda o times k underscore lambda and delta underscore two e underscore i equals k underscore i carrot minus one o times e underscore i plus e underscore i o times one and delta underscore two f underscore i equals one o times f underscore i plus f underscore i o times k underscore i delta underscore three k underscore lambda equals k underscore lambda o times k underscore lambda and delta underscore three E underscore I equals K underscore I carrot FRAC one two O times E underscore I plus E underscore I O times K underscore I carrot FRAC one two and delta underscore three F underscore I equals K underscore I carrot FRAC one two O times F underscore I plus F underscore I O times K underscore I carrot FRAC one two end array where the set of generators has been extended, if required, to include 
k lambda for lambda which is expressible as the sum of an element of the weight lattice and half an element of the root lattice. In addition, any Hopf algebra leads to another with reversed coproduct T O delta, where T is given by T x y equals y x, giving three more possible versions. The Cunit on U Q A is the same for all these coproducts, epsilon k lambda. Topic one epsilon A epsilon phi equals zero, and the respective antipodes for the above coproducts are given by S one K lambda equals K minus lambda S one E I equals minus E I K I minus one S one F I equals minus K I F I S two K Lambda equals K minus Lambda S two E I equals minus K I E I S two F I equals minus F I K I minus one S three K Lambda equals K minus Lambda S three E I equals minus q i e i s three f i equals minus q i minus one f i display style begin array l l l s underscore one k underscore lambda equals k underscore lambda and s underscore one e underscore i equals e underscore i k underscore i caret minus one and s underscore one f underscore i equals k underscore i f underscore i s underscore two k underscore lambda equals k underscore lambda and s underscore two e underscore I equals K underscore I E underscore I and S underscore two F underscore I equals F underscore I K underscore I carrot minus one S underscore three K underscore lambda equals K underscore lambda and S underscore three E underscore I equals Q underscore I E underscore I and S underscore three F underscore I equals Q underscore I carrot minus one F underscore I end array alternatively the quantum group U Q G can be regarded as an algebra over the field C Q, the field of all rational functions of an indeterminate Q over C. Similarly, the quantum group U Q G can be regarded as an algebra over the field Q Q, the field of all rational functions of an indeterminate Q over Q. See below in the section on quantum groups at Q equals zero. The center of quantum group can be described by quantum determinant equals. Topic: Representation theory. Equals. Just as there are many different types of representations for KAC Moody algebras and their universal enveloping algebras, so there are many different types of representation for quantum groups. As is the case for all Hopf algebras, UQ G has an adjoint representation on itself as a module, with the action being given by a d x y equals x x 1 y s x 2 display style mathrm add underscore x c d o t y equals sum underscore x x underscore 1 y s x underscore 2 where delta x equals x x 1 x 2 
Display style delta x equals sum underscore x x underscore one o times x underscore two. Topic case one q is not a root of unity. One important type of representation is a weight representation, and the corresponding module is called a weight module. A weight module is a module with a basis of weight vectors. A weight vector is a nonzero vector v such that k lambda v equals d lambda v for all lambda, where d lambda are complex numbers for all weights lambda such that d zero equals one. Display style d underscore zero equals one. D lambda D mu equals D lambda plus mu display style D underscore lambda D underscore mu equals D underscore lambda plus mu for all weights lambda and mu a weight module is called integrable if the actions of a and phi are locally nilpotent ie for any vector v in the module there exists a positive integer k possibly dependent on v such that e i k v equals f i k v equals 0 Display style e underscore i caret k v equals f underscore i caret k v equals zero for all i. In the case of integrable modules, the complex numbers d lambda associated with a weight vector satisfy d lambda equals c lambda q lambda nu. Display style d underscore lambda equals c underscore lambda q caret lambda nu, where nu is an element of the weight lattice, and c lambda are complex numbers such that c zero equals one. Display style c underscore zero equals one. C lambda c mu equals c lambda plus mu display style c underscore lambda c underscore mu equals c underscore lambda plus mu for all weights lambda and mu c 2 alpha i equals 1 display style c underscore 2 alpha underscore i equals 1 for all i, of special interest are highest weight representations, and the corresponding highest weight modules. A highest weight module is a module generated by a weight vector v, subject to k lambda v. d lambda v for all weights μ, and a v 0 for all i. Similarly, a quantum group can have a lowest weight representation and lowest weight module, i.e. a module generated by a weight vector v, subject to k lambda v. Topic <laughs> d lambda v for all weights lambda and phi v. Zero for all i. Define a vector v to have weight nu if k lambda v equals q lambda nu v display style k underscore lambda c d o t v equals q caret lambda nu v for all lambda in the weight lattice if g is a kac moody algebra then in any irreducible highest weight representation of uq g with highest weight nu the multiplicities of the weights are equal to their multiplicities in an irreducible representation of uq with equal highest weight if the highest weight is dominant and integral a weight mu is dominant and integral if mu satisfies the condition that 2 mu alpha i alpha i alpha i display style 2 mu alpha underscore i alpha underscore i alpha underscore i 
is a non-negative integer for all i, then the weight spectrum of the irreducible representation is invariant under the whale group for g, and the representation is integrable. Conversely, if a highest weight module is integrable, then its highest weight vector v satisfies k lambda v equals c lambda q lambda nu v display style k underscore lambda c d o t v equals c underscore lambda q caret lambda nu v where c lambda v equals d lambda v are complex numbers such that c zero equals one display style c underscore zero equals one c lambda c mu equals c lambda plus mu display style c underscore lambda c underscore mu equals c underscore lambda plus mu for all weights lambda and mu c two alpha i equals one display style c underscore two alpha underscore i equals one for all i and nu is dominant and integral as is the case for all hoff algebras the tensor product of two modules is another module for an element x of uq g and for vectors v and w in the respective modules x v w equals delta x v w so that k lambda v w equals k lambda v k lambda w display style k underscore lambda c d o t v o times w equals k underscore lambda c d o t v o times k underscore lambda w and in the case of coproduct delta 1 e i v w equals k i v e i w plus e i v w display style e underscore i c d o t v o times w equals k underscore i c d o t v o times e underscore i c d o t w plus e underscore i c d o t v o times w and f i v w equals v f i w plus f i v k i minus 1 w Display style f underscore i c d o t v o times w equals v o times f underscore i c d o t w plus f underscore i c d o t v o times k underscore i caret minus one c d o t w. The integrable highest weight module described above is a tensor product of a one-dimensional module on which k lambda. Topic. C lambda for all lambda and a phi equals zero for all i and a highest weight module generated by a non-zero vector v zero subject to k lambda v zero equals q lambda nu v zero Display style k underscore lambda c d o t v underscore zero equals q caret lambda nu v underscore zero for all weights lambda and e i v zero equals zero display style e underscore i c d o t v underscore zero equals zero for all i in the specific case where G is a finite dimensional Lie algebra as a special case of a KAC Moody algebra, then the irreducible representations with dominant integral highest weights are also finite dimensional. 
In the case of a tensor product of highest weight modules, its decomposition into submodules is the same as for the tensor product of the corresponding modules of the kac moody algebra the highest weights are the same, as are their multiplicities. Case 2, q is a root of unity Quasi-triangularity Case 1, q is not a root of unity Strictly, the quantum group UQ G is not quasi-triangular, but it can be thought of as being nearly quasi-triangular, in that there exists an infinite formal sum which plays the role of an R matrix. This infinite formal sum is expressible in terms of generators A and Phi, and Cartan generators T lambda, where K lambda is formally identified with Q T lambda. The infinite formal sum is the product of two factors Q eta J T lambda J T mu J display style Q caret eta sum underscore J T underscore lambda underscore J O times T underscore mu underscore J and an infinite formal sum where lambda J is a basis for the dual space to the Cartan subalgebra and mu J is the dual basis and eta equals plus or minus one. The formal infinite sum which plays the part of the R matrix has a well-defined action on the tensor product of two irreducible highest weight modules, and also on the tensor product of two lowest weight modules. Specifically, if V has weight α and W has weight β, then Q eta J T lambda J T mu J V W equals Q eta alpha beta V W display style Q caret eta sum underscore J T underscore lambda underscore J O times T underscore mu underscore J C D O T V O times W equals Q caret eta alpha beta V O times W and the fact that the modules are both highest weight modules or both lowest weight modules reduces the action of the other factor on VW to a finite sum. Specifically, if V is a highest weight module, then the formal infinite sum, R, has a well-defined, and invertible, action on VV, and this value of R as an element of end VV satisfies the Young-Baxter equation, and therefore allows us to determine a representation of the braid group, and to define quasi-invariants for knots, links and braids. Topic. Case 2, Q is a root of unity Topic. Quantum groups at Q equals 0 Masaki Kasiwara has researched the limiting behavior of quantum groups as Q0, and found a particularly well-behaved base called a crystal base. Topic. Description and classification by root systems and Dynkin diagrams There has been considerable progress in describing finite quotients of quantum groups such as the above UQ G for QN equals 1. One usually considers the class of pointed Hopf algebras, meaning that all subcoideals are one-dimensional and thus their sum form a group called keratical. In 2002 H. J. Schneider and N. Andruskiewicz finished their classification of pointed Hopf algebras with an abelian co-radical group excluding primes 2, 3, 5, 7, especially as the above finite quotients of UQ G decompose into E's Borel part, dual F's and K's Cartan algebra just like ordinary semisimple Lie algebras B V K Z N B V sigma display style left math frac b v o times k math b f z caret n o times math frac b v caret asterisk right caret sigma 
Here, as in the classical theory V is a braided vector space of dimension n spanned by the E's, and σ a so-called Kokaiche twist creates the nontrivial linking between E's and F's. Note that in contrast to classical theory, more than two linked components may appear. The role of the quantum Borel algebra is taken by a Nichols algebra B V of the braided vector space. A crucial ingredient was I. Heckenberger's classification of finite Nichols algebras for abelian groups in terms of generalized Dynkin diagrams. When small primes are present, some exotic examples, such as a triangle, occur see also the figure of a rank 3 Dynkin diagram. Meanwhile, Schneider and Heckenberger have generally proven the existence of an arithmetic root system also in the non-abelian case, generating a PBW basis as proven by Karcheko in the abelian case without the assumption on finite dimension. This can be used on specific cases UQ G and explains e.g. the numerical coincidence between certain coideal subalgebras of these quantum groups and the order of the whale group of the Lie algebra G. Topic. Compact matrix quantum groups See also compact quantum group. S. L. Waranovich introduced compact matrix quantum groups. Compact matrix quantum groups are abstract structures on which the continuous functions on the structure are given by elements of a C** algebra. The geometry of a compact matrix quantum group is a special case of a noncommutative geometry. The continuous complex valued functions on a compact Hausdorff topological space form a commutative C algebra. By the Gelfand theorem, a commutative C algebra is isomorphic to the C algebra of continuous complex valued functions on a compact Hausdorff topological space, and the topological space is uniquely determined by the C algebra up to homeomorphism. For a compact topological group, G, there exists a C asterisk algebra homomorphism delta, C, G, C, G, C, G, where C, G, C, G is the C asterisk algebra tensor product, the completion of the algebraic tensor product of C, G, and C, G, such that delta F, X, Y. F x y for all f in C G and for all x y element of G where f G x y f x G y for all f G element of C G and all x y element of G. There also exists a linear multiplicative mapping kappa C G C G such that kappa f x equals f x minus one for all f in C G and all x element of G strictly. This does not make C G a Hopf algebra unless G is finite. On the other hand, a finite dimensional representation of G can be used to generate a asterisk subalgebra of C G, which is also a Hopf asterisk algebra. Specifically, if G U I J G I J display style G mapsto U underscore I J G underscore I J is an n-dimensional representation of G, then for all i, j u i j element of C G and delta u i j equals k u i k u k j Display style delta u underscore i j equals sum underscore k u underscore ik o times u underscore k j. It follows that the asterisk algebra generated by u i j for all i j and kappa u i j for all i j is a Hopf asterisk algebra. The Kunnert is determined by epsilon u i j equals delta i j for all i j, where delta i j is the Kronecker delta. The antipode is kappa, and the unit is given by one equals k u 1 k kappa u k 1 equals k kappa u 1 k u k 1 
Display style one equals sum underscore k u underscore one k kappa u underscore k one equals sum underscore k kappa u underscore one k u underscore k one. As a generalization, a compact matrix quantum group is defined as a pair C Fu, where C is a C asterisk algebra and U equals U I J I J equals one N Display style U equals U underscore I J underscore I J equals one dots N is a matrix with entries in C such that the asterisk subalgebra, CO, of C, which is generated by the matrix elements of U, is dense in C. There exists a C asterisk algebra homomorphism called the comultiplication delta, CCC, where CC is the C asterisk algebra tensor product, the completion of the algebraic tensor product of C and C, such that for all I, J we have delta U I J equals k u i k u k j display style delta u underscore i j equals sum underscore k u underscore ik o times u underscore k j there exists a linear antimultiplicative map kappa c o c o the coinverse such that kappa kappa v asterisk asterisk equals v for all v element of c o and K kappa U I K U K J equals K U I K kappa U K J equals delta I J I display style sum underscore k kappa u underscore ik u underscore k j equals sum underscore k u underscore ik kappa u underscore k j equals delta underscore i j i, where i is the identity element of C since kappa is antimultiplicative, then kappa v w equals kappa w kappa v for all v w in C O. As a consequence of continuity, the comultiplication on C is coassociative. In general, C is not a B algebra, and C O is a Hoff asterisk algebra. Informally, C can be regarded as the asterisk algebra of continuous complex valued functions over the compact matrix quantum group, and U can be regarded as a finite dimensional representation of the compact matrix quantum group. A representation of the compact matrix quantum group is given by a corepresentation of the Hoff asterisk algebra a corepresentation of a counital coassociative colgebra A as a square matrix V equals V I J I J equals 1 N Display style v equals v underscore i j underscore i j equals one dots n with entries in a, so v belongs to M n a such that delta v i j equals k equals one n v i k v K J display style delta v underscore i j equals sum underscore k equals one caret n v underscore ik o times v underscore k j for all i j and epsilon v i j. Topic delta i j for all i j. Furthermore, a representation V is called unitary if the matrix for V is unitary, or equivalently, if kappa V i j V asterisk i j for all i j. An example of a compact matrix quantum group is SU mu two, where the parameter mu is a positive real number. So SU mu two equals C SU mu two U, where C SU mu two is the C asterisk algebra generated by alpha and gamma, subject to gamma 
gamma equals gamma gamma display style gamma gamma caret asterisk equals gamma caret asterisk gamma alpha gamma equals mu gamma alpha display style alpha gamma equals mu gamma alpha alpha gamma equals mu gamma alpha display style alpha gamma caret asterisk equals mu gamma caret asterisk alpha 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 plus mu gamma gamma equals alpha alpha plus mu minus 1 gamma gamma equals i display style alpha alpha caret asterisk plus mu gamma caret asterisk gamma equals alpha caret asterisk alpha plus mu caret minus 1 gamma caret asterisk gamma equals i and u equals alpha gamma minus gamma alpha display style u equals left begin matrix alpha and gamma gamma caret asterisk and alpha caret asterisk end matrix right so that the comultiplication is determined by increment alpha topic alpha alpha minus gamma gamma asterisk increment gamma Alpha gamma plus gamma alpha asterisk, and the coinverse is determined by kappa alpha. Topic alpha asterisk kappa gamma minus mu minus one gamma kappa gamma asterisk. Topic minus mg asterisk kappa alpha asterisk alpha. Note that U is a representation, but not a unitary representation. U is equivalent to the unitary representation V equals alpha mu gamma minus one mu gamma alpha. Display style V equals left begin matrix alpha and sqrt mu gamma frac one sqrt mu gamma caret asterisk and alpha caret asterisk end matrix right. Equivalently, su mu two equals c su mu two w, where c su mu two is the c asterisk algebra generated by alpha and beta, subject to beta beta equals beta beta. Display style beta beta caret asterisk equals beta caret asterisk beta alpha beta equals mu beta alpha display style alpha beta equals mu beta alpha alpha beta equals mu beta alpha display style alpha beta caret asterisk equals mu beta caret asterisk alpha 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 plus mu 2 beta Beta equals alpha alpha plus beta beta equals i display style alpha alpha caret asterisk plus mu caret two beta caret asterisk beta equals alpha caret asterisk alpha plus beta caret asterisk beta equals i and w equals alpha mu beta minus beta alpha display style w equals left begin matrix alpha and mu beta beta caret asterisk and alpha caret asterisk end matrix right so that the comultiplication is determined by increment alpha topic alpha alpha minus mb beta asterisk delta beta Alpha beta plus beta alpha asterisk, and the coinverse is determined by kappa alpha. Topic alpha asterisk kappa beta minus mu minus one beta kappa beta asterisk. 
Topic minus mb asterisk kappa alpha asterisk alpha. Note that w is a unitary representation. The realizations can be identified by equating gamma equals mu beta. Display style gamma equals sqrt mu beta. When mu equals 1, then su mu 2 is equal to the algebra C su 2 of functions on the concrete compact group su 2 equals topic by cross product quantum groups equals Whereas compact matrix pseudogroups are typically versions of Drinfeld Jimbo quantum groups in a dual function algebra formulation, with additional structure, the bicrossproduct ones are a distinct second family of quantum groups of increasing importance as deformations of solvable rather than semisimple Lie groups. They are associated to Lie splittings of Lie algebras or local factorizations of Lie groups and can be viewed as the cross product or Mackey quantization of one of the factors acting on the other for the algebra and a similar story for the coproduct delta with the second factor acting back on the first. The very simplest non-trivial example corresponds to two copies of R locally acting on each other and results in a quantum group given here in an algebraic form with generators P, K, K-1, say, and coproduct P K equals H K K minus one. Display style P K equals H K K one. Delta P equals P K plus one P. Display style delta p equals p o times k plus one o times p delta k equals k k display style delta k equals k o times k, where h is the deformation parameter. This quantum group was linked to a toy model of Planck scale physics implementing Born reciprocity when viewed as a deformation of the Heisenberg algebra of quantum mechanics. Also, starting with any compact real form of a semisimple Lie algebra G its complexification as a real Lie algebra of twice the dimension splits into G and a certain solvable Lie algebra the Iwasawa decomposition, and this provides a canonical bicrossproduct quantum group associated to G. For SU one obtains a quantum group deformation of the Euclidean group E of motions in three dimensions. See also Lie B algebra, Poisson Lie group, Quantum affine algebra. Notes <laughs>